Welcome to another J World Annapolis video blog. I'm Kristen Berry here today uh, in Annapolis with Steve Pickle from North Sales. Steve, uh, welcome to Annapolis. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, it's good to be here, and uh, it's good that snow's snow's gone and uh, getting ready for springtime. Well, let's be for real. You moved here from San Diego recently. Uh, is this what you were expecting to see? <sighs> Moving from San Diego was a uh, it was a little bit of a shocker. I grew up in Michigan, so I do I do know what snow is. But that's been a long time. So 14, 15 years in San Diego definitely um, softens you up a little bit. And, uh, <laughs> so it was a little shock, but um, we haven't spent a bunch of time in Florida this winter. It was really good to uh, kind of thaw out down there and then come home and uh, get ready for things, uh, get ready for springtime. Excellent. So uh, you're with the North One Design Division. Um, tell us what that's all about. So North Sales One Design, um, we concentrate on small one design boats, basically from the Etchells, Melgus 24, all the way down to Opti's. So it's a pretty big, um, it's a pretty big range of boats to yep. specialize in. But we have a team that's dedicated to just working with these small boats, and um, it's really, really a powerful team. I started there in 2000, 2001, and I was running the production in San Diego for the last uh, eight years or so, and. Um, we had an opportunity come up for me to move to Annapolis, so I was ready for a change, and I'm um, really excited to be here. So well, it seems like One Design sailors are uh, uh, likely to be seeking some advice. What's the best way to get in touch with you? Definitely at the loft um, over on Chester Street is a great way to great way to get in touch with me there, or um, giving us a call at six one nine nine eight five eight four zero three, and uh, you know we're always always available to uh, talk talk one design sailing and any questions you may have there. Um, we have a great team with myself and uh, Jeff Becker that are just con solely concentrating on small boat one design sailing now. So this is really, I think, a good resource for everybody. It's great. How do you see the Annapolis one design scene? Obviously on Thursday nights, we've got J22s, J24s, J80s, and J70s racing. Uh, but it's not just a J-boat town. There are Thistles and lightnings and uh, lasers and certainly a big opti class around here. What do you what do you see as uh, maybe a hot class or uh, and, and think about it from the perspective of somebody who's maybe interested in getting into sailing? Where do they go? Well, obviously your resource is great. Um, you know the Thursday Thursday night races with all the J boat classes is incredible. Um, it's quite a bit different scene than what uh, we have in San Diego, where there is so much one design sailing here. Um, all the snipes, which I have a snipe that will be sailing out of SSA, lightning, thistles, everything going on there, lasers, etc. cetera. Um, then up to the J-boat classes on Thursdays, the AYC beer cans on Wednesdays. And that's one of the really exciting things for me is the intensity of the season where there is so much going on, you can sail as much as you want, right? And, it's, I was having a conversation with somebody yesterday, and they were asking how they could get plugged into the Annapolis scene. And I said, you know, by June 1st, you could match race on Mondays, T-Sod with SSA on Tuesdays. Yep. You could buoy race on Wednesdays, uh, you know, in the sort of sprint distance Annapolis Yacht Club scene. One design race with us on Thursdays. Beer can race on Friday at EYC. <laughs> and then weekends, there's a regatta, you know, all over the bay. So uh, if you're into it, there's no, no end in sight to the opportunity. The hardest part is usually figuring out, okay, we need to take a day off every now and then. Right. That's the t that can be the toughest thing. Well, that's what January and February are for, right? Fair enough. So, Fair enough. Um, well, you mentioned that you'd done some sailing down south this winter. I know I saw you at the uh, Davis Island Series sailing some J70s, and, and uh, I know you did a few other events. <clears throat> for those of us who are fortunate enough to sail through the winter time, um, we come into the spring pretty tuned up, but a lot of sailors have not touched their tiller extension since, uh, you know, the, the end of October or something like that. What do you have as far as a tip or a trick or something for folks to think about as they get ready to start sailing this season? Well, I think when you're, you know, early in the season, when you're shaking off the cobwebs, obviously boat handling's, you know, priority. But I think the number one thing, especially for those of us that are driving the boats, is making sure you're always going fast. I know it sounds really simple and really basic, but um, I think you can get kind of caught up in too many other things going on um, on around you. And I think you need to be, you know, looking at other boats. Are we going faster? Are we going slow? Are we going high? And are we going high and slow? Are we going low and fast? What's what kind of situation are we in? 
I think that's the best thing to sail your boat and always be going fast. It can be this, as simple as that. Speed kills. <laughs> uh, all right, so um, as far as developing those speed skills, um, you think it's necessary to have another tuning partner out there on the water with you? Or in, is it something that you can develop individually, a, a sense or an awareness of when you're actually going fast? In, in one design sailing, um, for sure you want to have a tuning partner. You know, we go to these big events and we really try and set it up beforehand um, with, okay, I'm going to be tuning up with you beforehand. That's great when it works out. Sometimes it's not an option. But um, yeah, you want to be looking at your tuning partner. So they can be the fastest way to get you up to speed. Um, and even if somebody that you you just have to have a relative speed to go by. Sure. So are we higher and faster? Are we lower and slower? What, what's going on? Got it. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Uh, start off the season looking at your speedometer and just try to go faster all the time. Uh, today, Steve, thanks a lot for uh, sharing Thank your you. thoughts with us. Uh, and if you're interested in reaching out to North Sales One Design, make sure you call Steve Pickle here in Annapolis. Uh, until next time, I'm Kristen Berry for the J-World Video Blog.